And <laughs> speaking of Australia, in Sunday's loss to NC State, Georgia Amor was the leading scorer for the Hokies with 13 points, and the Australian native just the latest in the pipeline from down under for Virginia Tech women's basketball. Following in the footsteps of Vanessa Panousis and Hannah Young, Sports Director Jermaine Farrell taking a look at how the sophomore guard is handling life thousands of miles away from home. Georgia A. Moore, the Virginia Tech point guard, is the straw that stirs the drink for the success of the Virginia Tech women's basketball program. And with her play on the court, you would know she is missing home so far away. It was tough because I went like 18 years of my life seeing them every day. And then I leave for America and I don't see them for two years. And obviously that was unexpected. I was supposed to go home in May of uh, 2020. But um, I think just changing my outlook, because in reality, I'm in college for like four or five years. If I spend those years dreading home and missing home, I'm going to miss out on all these opportunities here. So just being grateful for what I have here um, kind of helped with me not being a, like a pessimist about not really being able to go home. But that young lady has gone through so much. You know, I don't know if I could have done it, you know, as a 17, 18 year old kid. I don't know if I could have done it as a 40 year old man. You know, to leave, to leave the comforts of your own home and everything that you've known, to go out on a venture, to explore and see the world and try to uh, uh, achieve your dreams and playing at the highest level. And right, in the, right at the beginning of it, then there's this pandemic where you can't go home, you can't see your loved ones, and you're essentially uh, having to you know, live with your teammates. You have, you're having to rely on so many people for things that are comfortable to you, just family. And the way that she's handled it, it's been tremendous. She's grown from it. As a result, our program has just prospered because she's a leader of this group. After two long years, Georgia got the best Christmas present of all, as her family came for a month for a long visit to Virginia last Christmas. I was really grateful they got to come over here, you know, cost COVID visas, flights, everything that you just don't think about. Um, at one point, there was like struggles with almost everything of that. But super grateful that I got to see them and I'm super grateful that they came and experienced Blacksburg because this is my home and it will be for the next couple of years. So. Filling the void of missing her family is not only her teammates, but head coach Kenny Brooks. The bond is strong between Brooks and Amore in more ways than one. First and foremost, she's my kid. You know, and, and with all due respect, and I, I don't ever want to, you know, disrespect her, her family, her father, because, you know, she is his daughter. But I, I am like a father figure to that young lady, you know, and she's like a daughter figure to me. You know, that that's how close we are. And I think our, our bond has really grown closer because she hasn't been able to go home. And, uh, and, and she's a terrific kid, terrific kid. I mean, the love for the love I have for that man is like beyond limits. I mean. He, he literally does everything for me. And being that Fogger figure and a point guard, two guidances I needed. <laughs> like, that was the perfect equation, I think. And, like, I, he knows I love him and I know he loves me. So whenever he's, like, critiquing me or teaching me, it's nothing out of spite. It's from the heart and it's because he wants me to do better. And because we have that inbuilt relationship and trust, that really translates on the court too. I think that anything I do literally is just always in the back of my mind it's him because i i don't want to let him down i don't want to not disappoint but just i don't know just use it as a motivation like anything i really do on the court it really is for him because he's done incredible things for me jermaine farrell wfxr sports what emotion there from Amor and the Hokies will return to the floor Thursday when Tech travels to Charlottesville to take on UVA.